Hello, welcome back to what's that? Season four of Jane Austen's You Read the Poem. Back, might I say, by a very popular demand. I am very popular and everybody loves me a lot. So I decided, okay, I guess I'll do another season for you, Mom. Actually, my mom doesn't even watch these videos anymore. Um, it's kind of sad. Anyway, here I am, uh, just powering through, regardless of if my mom is watching these or not. Back in Toronto, after a year in Scotland, this is my new apartment. I also have a new thing. Um, it's called a uh, job, I believe, or maybe, I don't know if the J is silent or not. But anyway, like, I just go there, and then after I'm done, I can, like, if I want to buy some food, I can do that and eat it. Like, even if I ate yesterday, I can still eat today, and I can eat tomorrow. Pretty cool. Call the Yob. Get one. Um, and I also get to take a streetcar to work every day. Probably the most glamorous form of travel. Not that I'm bragging. Um, so the story that I'm going to read today is actually set on a streetcar. It's called Today You Are Waiting, and it goes like this. Today You Are Waiting. Today you are eating cold pizza out of a grocery bag. Not a Ziploc bag, a grocery bag that you had to pay five cents for because you forgot your reusable bags at home last week. You also forgot to shower last night, but you put on extra deodorant this morning, and you're hoping no one will notice. Or was that yesterday morning? Has it been two days without showering, and did you even put on deodorant this morning? The woman beside you on the streetcar has lobsters instead of hands, and each lobster has its own aquarium. The sound of the water bubbling makes you have to pee, and you're wondering if she's judging you for eating cold pizza out of a grocery bag at 8 in the morning. She must have her own problems, though, so you think you're probably safe. It's days like this that remind you of that day in grade 11. You were 16, and you started crying for no reason, and you couldn't stop. It was early, and you had, to, you had gotten ready for school. You were waiting for your dad to drive you, and then you were crying. You cried so hard you almost threw up, and you didn't have to go to school. Sometimes, you're sure that that day you stayed home was the day that all of the other kids were told what it would be like and what to do. You've lived on your own for seven years now, but you still feel shockingly unprepared, like one day you'll be caught in the rain and simply dissolve. The woman with the lobster hands is half asleep beside you, and her lobsters bob in their aquariums as a streetcar stops at the next set of lights. You wonder what you are doing here. Not here as in the streetcar, but the existential here, as in why. And you wonder if you'll start spontaneously bleeding from your neck. Last week on the streetcar, a man shot blood across half of the passengers. Is it bad that you were a little jealous of all the attention he got? He was at the front of the streetcar, and you were at the back. You didn't even get hit. And now you are here again today, eating cold pizza out of a grocery bag and waiting. So that was the story, Today You Are Waiting. Thank you for watching this video.